You are listening to Power Score's Featured Law School's podcast series. Today's Featured Law School is George Washington University Law School. Currently ranked 20 by the U.S. News and World Report, George Washington has a full-time enrollment of about 1,400 students and currently costs a little over $42,000 a year for both in- and out-of-state students. For the class that entered in 2009, there were over 9,500 applicants, with less than 25% being accepted. Finally, when it came to the admission for the fall of 2009, the median LSAT score was a 167, while the median GPA was a 3.77. Representing George Washington Law School in our podcast today, we have the Dean of the Law School, Frederick Lawrence, and the Student Bar Association President at GW Law, Teresa Bowman. When it comes to being a student at George Washington, Dean Lawrence says there are two things that make them a unique law school. One, obviously, is the location in Washington, D.C., which we're able to take advantage of in a whole host of ways. It explains the quality and the draw of our permanent faculty, of our adjunct faculty. So many students have the opportunity to work in and around Washington during the time they're in school, during the summers, during term time, all of the opportunities that being in Washington, D.C. provides. The other thing that makes us different is the nature of the community, it being a collaborative, cooperative, congenial working environment, which we take very seriously, not just as a more pleasant way to live, but really as better preparation for the practice of law. And when offering advice for applying to law school, Dean Lawrence says his advice is for everyone, not just people interested in applying to George Washington. Think long and hard about what it is they hope to get out of law school and to think of law school not narrowly but broadly, that it will train them to be lawyers, to be sure, but it will also give them a whole range of skills that they can apply in a wide range of contexts in the public sector, in the private sector, domestically and internationally. So I would advise them to think about their legal education as broadly as possible and the various things that they can get from it. And when trying to decide between George Washington and another law program, Dean Lawrence says to check out everything Washington, D.C. can offer, and most importantly, make sure to visit. In many ways, I would think about all the ways in which Washington makes a difference to be able to be at a place where you can take advantage of what it means to be not just studying law, but actually watching law and participating in the way which law is made. Over the course of a three-year career at GW, it is highly unusual that you would not see at least one Supreme Court justice and probably many. We average about one a semester at a moot court argument, teaching a class, giving a symposium, giving a lecture. Uh, the opportunity to work here in D.C. to really ex- expand who you are and what you are. So I would, ask, I would suggest that people think very seriously about what it means to be in D.C. The second thing I'd suggest, spend some time at the school and talk to other students who are here and ask them what it is they enjoy most about the school, about the way spaces of a building are laid out, how they get used. Are there places for people to spend time together? Because if we talk about building a community in a school, there have to be places to do that. I would suggest they do that at our school and at other schools and then make a choice that makes the most sense for them. And when looking at George Washington through the eyes of a student, third-year student Teresa Bowman says her favorite aspect of the school are the faculty she gets to interact with every day. My favorite uh, part of GW Law has probably been my experience with our faculty here because you have a, a group of what are absolutely brilliant people. Uh, they've clerked for Supreme Court justices. They've argued cases before every court in the country. They've written half the textbooks that we use, uh, but you know, Every professor that I've had here seems really interested in uh, engaging students and in, in hearing what they have to say. And I think you'll probably hear that from a lot of law students, but I, I think it, it really is a special thing when you have professors that happily hold their office hours because they enjoy interacting with students. Uh, another way that this comes out is uh, you have a lot of professors using the Socratic method in class, in which for you know, your listeners, if, if you don't know, is when professors uh, in class will, will pick out a student and ask them to to run through the facts of the case that you're reading and ask them questions about that case. And if you have professors uh, that will also ask, well, you know, what do you think? And it is very intimidating the first time a professor looks at you and, and asks, well, you know, what do you think? But then it's it's really a great th- feeling to to realize that your your teacher is is actually interested in in what you have to say about a particular holding or, or policy. So that's that's been my favorite part about about GW. 
And when wanting to know what happens outside the classroom while in law school, Teresa says George Washington offers a large variety of student organizations that gives an outlet for everyone. We have、uh, an incredibly active, very, very vibrant student community. We have over、uh, 40 student groups here, and there's really an outlet for every possible interest you could have in law school. And it, it makes for a very、uh, politically diverse community, very culturally diverse community. We have students that put a lot of time into you know, essentially becoming activists in law school through their student group,、uh, becoming teachers.、Uh, Both in law school and in local, you know, high schools and other institutions through your, their student groups. We also have、uh, a few musical outlets for students. We have an a cappella group. We have the law review show every year, which is, you know, essentially a, a musical extravaganza that, that gets put on by students.、Um, so we we have something for everyone here. And finally, Teresa says that it isn't hard to realize how great it would be to attend law school in our capital, Washington D.C. Where you not only learn the law, but where you're able to see laws being made and important cases argued in federal court. I think there are two things that that the GW offers that are really、uh, unique, depending on where you're coming from in, in the country. We first we go to to law school in a city that's、uh, really tailor made for law students. We have the White House right down the street. And、uh, getting to a courthouse to to listen to arguments is is only difficult because you need to decide、uh, which courthouse you actually want to go to in D.C.、Um, so you know it's it's really a neat thing. I I know students that、uh, went to hear the the arguments for for Citizens United, the the big、uh, election law case that just came down.、Um, and you know if you're interested in something and you you want to see what's what's happening with it. Uh, in the courts, it, you really need to to just figure out when the, the arguments are being heard and, and get down to the court. And the Supreme Court, actually, people don't realize how easy it is to get into to arguments there. But、um, it's it's only a cab ride away, and it's 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 really not that hard. I think the second thing is、uh, people or applicants、uh, when you're looking at law schools.、Uh, I think you really need to consider、uh, what kind of community you want to be a part of, and I think. Who your colleagues are in law school makes a, a huge difference, not only to your quality of life in law school, but also to your career.、Uh, and I think this one、uh, neat thing is is that the students here really are、uh, committed to helping each other out.、Uh, we proofread each other's resumes, we we help each other study, and、uh, we help each other prepare for competitions and and things like that. And it it sounds. All of this, all of these things sound small, but I think it really reflects the, the kind of community we have here, where you have students who、um, they you have students who are all in a situation where、uh, they could be, you know, extremely competitive, and instead they choose to to really help each other out. Thank you for listening to Power Scores podcast series. If you want more information on Power Scores podcasts or services, please visit powerscore dot com, or you can call one eight hundred. Five four five one seven five zero.